So it's Thanksgiving weekend. This is the last thing I try to get done every Thanksgiving weekend, and that is I make fruitcake for Christmas. So it can sit and soak in brandy for a month before I give it away. So I make fruitcake for two people. I make fruitcake for my dad, and I make fruitcake for Carl's mother. So I just have always used from my Better Home Guard cookbook. I use the recipe. This is the recipe from the 11th edition. You know, I have updated versions of this, but whenever I buy an updated version of a cookbook, like, it's never <laughs> as good as the original. I mean, I, I usually, I, can, I buy a new one because I think, oh, I love that cookbook. I wonder what the new one is like. And then it, maybe five years later, I'll decide I like the new one. I don't know, that's one thing. I, Stretch. Anyway, so this is the same recipe I've been using for years, and I have all the ingredients. So here we go. So I'm gonna make two. This recipe is for one fruitcake, but I'm gonna double it. Make the same ingredients. So the first thing we're gonna do is heat the oven. It's a low heat, 300. Last year was the first year I attempted to mail the fruitcake, and that actually worked. And so when I mailed this to my dad, since he lives in Southern California, I froze it for three days before I mailed it. And so <laughs> I, and I, I took it out of the freezer, put it in the box, and went straight to the post office and shipped it today. Uh, and he said it was fine. <laughs> so, plus these are pretty indestructible. <laughs> By the time, by the time they're done, I think I don't, I don't think you can. I don't think I don't think a fruitcake can go bad. This fruitcake has flour, cinnamon, baking powder, baking soda, nutmeg, allspice, cloves, mixed candied fruits, raisins, candied green cherries, Sid Red or Green. If you're gonna go this nuclear, I just say go totally fake green. I know. Um, walnuts, eggs, brown sugar, orange juice, butter, and molasses. And then we'll soak it starting tomorrow in, in brandy and uh, so brown cheese pops. So, I found that ordering food online has been kind of crazy because I used to have to measure everything and now it's like, Mixed candy fruits and peels or snip mixed dry fruit. So I got I was this is this what's what they have at the local grocery store. This is old English fruit and peel mix. My grandma, I think it was my grandma's sister used to always make fruit cake. When I was really young. My Aunt Eva. I think. I don't know. I need a half cup of raisins. Two eggs for each 
for each cake. We're going to do two eggs. And we're going to add a half cup brown sugar and a half cup orange juice. melt one third cup butter so a stick of butter is a half cup now I need two tablespoons light molasses trick to molasses is you got to spray your measure with cooking spray or you can grease it with oil or whatever it works for honey or whatever. Do this. It will come out much simpler. Two fruit cakes, and they're going to cook for at least an hour and a half. I have a slow oven, like I always say every time I make a video. Um, but we're going to cook at a low temperature. Um, so I'm going to start at an hour and a half and check on it. Well, let's cook them. I'm going to clean up my mess. All right, so these have been cooking for just over an hour and a half. It's time to check on. My husband was just out with the dog. He said he heard that of a bobcat or some sort of wild cat that's kind of killing rabbits on our property, leaving the carcass trail. Anyway, he was out there and he heard it hiss. My dog's going crazy. He's not happy about a bobcat in the backyard, but everyone's inside. No one's going out. Those are done. So we're going to just let these cool overnight until they're completely cooled. And tomorrow morning we're going to uh, wrap them in brandy soap cheesecloth. Alright, so it's the next morning. I'm going to take these out of here real quick. Little bundles of fruit cake with this. Cheesecloth. Buy this grocery store. I get my proper length of each of those. I just pour. I just pour the brandy into that bowl. So I here. The more it soaks in this stuff, the better it'll be. That's what I think. So <laughs> my dad, my, my dad will like it the most. Let's see. So, I just totally wet, totally dissolved, soaked in the brand. Okay. Just gotta wrap it all up. Soppy, wet, brandy filled piece of fabric. morning. It is super cold out this morning. 
7.30 and we are iced over, but it is very clear out. It's going to be a beautiful, <laughs> cold, cold, cold day. So I am heading out for my morning walk. We're going to see what we can see this morning. I got my headphones on. <laughs> They're, uh, they're kind of big and clunky, but you know, they actually add extra warmth on mornings like this. So I'm gonna walk and listen to a rehearsal that I participated in this week that I recorded so I can check on the balance uh, of all the instruments uh, and fine tune it in my head so when we have our next rehearsal, I know if what we did last time sounded good. So that's this morning's walk, work. Uh, goings on. Anyway, enjoy this view. I'm just gonna... <laughs> My neighbor dog is letting me know. He's got an invisible fence. <laughs> He's letting me know. He's letting me know. Yeah, don't, don't mess with me. <laughs> Beautiful morning. Woohoo! I think that tree is growing out of a stump. <laughs> I think that that might not be a very uh, secure in a windstorm. That's just no houses nearby. That tree. I think that tree. I think that. Thank you. 